Hello there, Chris Oldland here, editor of Field Service News. Today we're going to continue our series looking at how British company Rolls-Royce have completely changed the aeronautics division by aligning their service contracts with their product contracts. I teamed up with service management specialist Nick Frank and we headed down to Bristol to speak to Dave Gordon at Rolls-Royce. Here's the second part in this series. I looked both within and with outside defence and outside of Rolls-Royce to look at what good looked like. I was kind of keen to bring in best practice, but I was also conscious that we were doing some very, very good things that we may not be perhaps celebrating or capturing as, as much as we might. Um, we were also starting to birth some concepts uh, around um, different centres. So we, we'd already introduced something called an operations centre or an ops centre, which is very much the day-to-day -day tactical management of the fleet. Uh, we, we, we man that uh, facility with uh, engineers, people with a lot of services experience, people with a deep knowledge of our products, who are able to give a responsive uh, a sort of solution to customers who can literally ring in like a call centre, but get a very thorough service as a result. Underpinning that operations centre is data. And the other piece, is, as I was looking at what's our strategy, it was, well, how are we going to manage this data? Because we, we access a huge amount of data through our product, both in terms of uh, actual on-engine prognosis and also information we gather on the asset and the fleet as it accrues many, many hundreds of thousands of hours in many cases. So how do we use that data how do we use the expertise in our people and wrap some process around it? We came up with this idea of operations centre, data centres, a business centre which we now run to look at the long-term strategic use of those products. And as a programme director, I now sit within that business centre. And then looking to the longer term, we've taken all of those ideas and in particular how we use our data. And we're starting to push that a lot closer to our customers where they're comfortable to do that. I think as we've been on this journey, and it is, has been a journey over many years, it's not something that's happened overnight, we've built a very strong relationship with a, a number of key customers, and it is relationship-based and it's trust-based. And we've had to open ourselves up to scrutiny and be very open with uh, how we're using that data, uh, and how Rolls-Royce delivers that service. And I think in return, the customers got a lot more comfortable with, with the fact that we will protect their information. Clearly in a defence context, uh, having that uh, management of that data in a way that each customer is comfortable, that it will not be uh, uh, taken anywhere else is very, very key. And that was actually one of our motivations, particularly within the defence business, to actually get a lot closer to our customers so we could control the management of that data uh, in a way that both they're comfortable with and also provides for a very collaborative environment so we can get the benefits and synergies of having both us as the provider and the original equipment guy and the customer as the user and the knowledgeable person on how that asset's actually going to be used right in the same room, sharing knowledge, building experience together, and hence being able to take that value proposition, if you like, to the next level in a way that we're both comfortable with. Rolls-Royce's Dave Gordon there. Now, there'll be further insight from Dave as we continue this series across the next few weeks. However, if you want to take that video home or you just can't wait till the next instalment, all you need to do to get your hands on the full half an hour interview is just click the link below and register your details very briefly and you'll get the full half an hour video sent across to you. Um, other than that, keep your eyes peeled. It's been my pleasure to bring this content to you. I'm Chris Oldland, editor of Field Service News, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.